Hi guys, this is another tutorial for a smart physics problem. Now the problem we're looking at is the RCL with battery. Okay, and here's the circuit we're looking at. It has a battery, resistor, capacitor, and two inductors. So the first question is asking what is the energy in the first inductor, the inductor number one, L1? What's the energy stored? in it after the switch is open. It was closed for a long time and then it was open. Okay. So the energy in the inductor UL1 will be equal to half Li squared. Okay. So we need to know the current that's going through the inductor before the switch was open. So to know that we need to look at the circuit now. So bef before the switch was open the capacitor will be acting like an open wire okay because it has a lot of charge on it so and the inductor will be acting like a wire so the circuit will look like this now just going to be a simple circuit with a volt with a battery and just a resistor so to find the current in this we need just to do the i equal v over r okay and i got that to be the numbers i got 0 0.0851 ampere this is the voltage of the battery, this is R1, this resistor. Okay, then we plug this value back into here. So it's half, and then the value of L1, and then we square the I. And I got this to be 0 0.00134 joules. So the question number two is asking about what is the omega? So the omega is equal to one over square root of L C and then since the inductors are in series, so we're gonna add them like the resistor. So this will be equal like L over square root of L one plus L two this all times C all of them under the square root. Okay, I got this value to be 126.25 rad per second. Okay, the third question is asking what is Q max the magnitude of the charge on the capacitor? Okay, since we know the current that's going through the inductor here the two of them. We know that the energy is conserved, the system here. And we can do that the energy in the two inductors is going to be equal to Q max here. So Q squared max over 2C will be equal to half I squared L1 plus L2. Okay. Sorry, my dad is sleeping here and he's a little snoring. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to add the two inductors together here. And then the Q max will be equal to, we cancel this, and when you take the square root of it all, it will be C I squared L1 plus L2. Okay, that's what you're going to get. Alright, so number four, this one took me a little bit of time to figure out, because there's the phase and all that thing. So what I did was QT equal Q max, and then cosine of omega T plus V. <coughs> okay, uh... I'm not sure how to explain this, but 
the initial condition, the Q, the QT at time equals zero, the charge, I think it should be zero because that's what worked for me. I did both of them. So I took the cosine phi equals zero, and then this should be either minus pi over two or plus. And I tried both of them, and it worked for the plus pi. I really don't know why, but I'll explain it later when I know why. So Q max, cosine, and then you have the omega, and they're asking about the time, what's the charge at the time that they gave us. We have the time, and then plus pi over 2. Okay, then just substitute everything you have in this. You have the Q max from the one before. Uh, for this one, I got it was six point seven four one times ten to the power negative four, and it is in microcoulomb in the question. This is in coulomb, so th this in microcoulomb will be six seven four point one. Micro coulomb. Okay. So this value, actually this value, you will substitute it in this because this is in coulomb. And this is the omega we have, the time they gave us in the question, and the phase is pi over two. Okay. So the question number five, they're asking, what is T two the first time after the switch is open? that the energy stored in the capacitor is at maximum. Okay. So for this one I use QT will be equal to Q max. This is cosine VT plus pi over two. So we said that the fir the first time at T equals zero I took this one to be like this part to be cosine of t plus pi over 2 and I took it equal to 1 okay because we need this to be 1 in order to this to be equal this because we need to find the time where the qt is equal to q max okay Alright, so what is the what is the value of the inside of the cosine that can give one? So it we can start with zero and then pi. Yeah, zero and pi. So cosine we we got rid of it, so it's WT plus pi over two equal either zero or pi, but you can't get a time in and the negative because when you take this to the other side, you'll get a negative. But when I, when you take this, you get W T equal, and take this to the other side, you'll get pi over two when you subtract this from this. So the answer for this is T equal pi over two omega. And I got this answer to be, you know omega, okay, you have this omega from before. And then the answer I got for this was 0 0.0124, this is in seconds. And the uh, the question is asking in milliseconds, so watch out from this. So the answer in millisecond is 12.44 millisecond. Is it in a millisecond like this? Actually, it should be 1.2 in a millisecond. I think it's 1. Well, anyway, you get the conversion for this one. I think it's 1.24. I can't see anything. Shit. Okay, so this is in a millisecond. And 
the last question, they're asking what is the total energy stored in the inductor plus the capacitor. Okay, so you can just do that by knowing that the total energy can can be found like total energy. Energy can be Q squared max over two C. And this will be equal to U L plus U C the energy at different times here. So this is U total. So we know the Q max. The Q max we had it from number three. So Q max squared and you have the two and you have the C, you know the value of the C. And then you'll get your answer. And actually for number for the uh for this number you'll get a negative value. So make sure you plug in so you like don't worry if you get a negative value because that's the answer. Why I have no idea really. But it did work. I got the right answer. So yeah, when you plug in the negative value here, it's going to be positive anyway because there's square root here. I mean, to the power 2. Uh, yeah, the number I got for this one was 4.419 e to the negative 4 joules. Uh, I hope this didn't confuse you. I didn't have much explanation. I need more time to study it more and do more problems, but I hope it helped. I got the right answers for this, but I hope it really helped. And thank you for watching. Good luck, buddy.